Why China released 1.2 million rabbits into its desert China has unexpectedly released 1.2 million rabbits into its desert before understanding the secret plan behind leaving these rabbits to struggle for survival. We need to look at the largest rabbit population explosion in history that devastated Australia. In the 1850s, when Australia had a sparse population, British colonists began to settle here. Thomas Austin, a British colonist, was gifted 13 European rabbits by his family in 1859. He released them in his estate's backyard. The rabbit population exploded, and in 60 years, these 13 rabbits multiplied to 10 billion, occupying 70% of the Australian continent. The rapid population growth was due to the lack of natural predators. The rabbits caused severe damage by destroying crops and causing soil erosion, invading residential areas, and even attacking homes. The matter of concern was that the number of rabbits started growing exponentially in Australia. Experts feared that if the situation wasn't controlled, humans might have to abandon Australia. It was called the biggest mammal population explosion in history. They started taking 80 miles of the area under their control every year. Even in some areas, fences were formed on the border and poisonous pills were placed so that the rabbits would die after eating them. But none of the methods were proving effective. These rabbits used to dig holes and live in the ground. Hence, the farmers were ordered to destroy their houses, but it made no difference. These wild rabbits, when hungry, would become irritable and even attack people. To control the rabbit population, Australia took extreme measures. They injected the myxomatosis virus into captured wild rabbits, which led to a painful death for infected rabbits. Despite criticism from other countries, Australia continued this practice, drastically reducing the rabbit population to 1 billion. Later, the remaining rabbits developed immunity, prompting scientists to create a new virus, the rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus or RHDV in the 80s, which killed 96% of the rabbits by 1996. The Australian experience taught the world that introducing non-native animals to a new ecosystem can lead to uncontrolled population growth or their death, disrupting the local ecosystem. Despite knowing this, China has taken a risky step by releasing 1.2 million rabbits into its deserts. Each year, China produces around 99 million rabbits, more than any other country. The reason for releasing these rabbits requires a look back at China's history. In the 1950s, under Mao Zedong's Great Leap Forward campaign, there was an effort to boost agriculture and industrialization by eliminating birds like sparrows. The government also gave incentives to people who kill the maximum number of these birds. They, however, ignored the fact that these sparrows used to eat insects and rodents, which otherwise would destroy the crops. The ecosystem thus got disrupted, and the mass killing of sparrows led to an increase in insects and rodents, which devastated crops and caused famine, killing millions. After this, Chinese sprayed poison and killed 1.5 billion rats, 200 billion pound flies, and 24 billion pound insects. Its impact also affected the crops in the fields, devastating China's agriculture and leading to severe famine for the next four years, causing millions of deaths. Many forests dried up and turned into deserts. China is still suffering the consequences of that foolish mistake today. About 30 years ago, in the 1990s, China's desert area was 1.7 million square kilometers, which was almost one-fifth of the country's total land area of 99.5 million square kilometers. However, by 2015, China's desert area had expanded to 2.62 million square kilometers. Additionally, 44% of China's land had become desertification-prone, meaning it had turned barren. The sandy desert continued to expand its boundaries, leading to a decrease in rainfall in China and increase in global warming. Due to scarcity of water and food, the people living in villages started to migrate to cities, causing an economic loss of 54 billion yuan to the Chinese government. If this desertification is not stopped, then in the next 300 years, China will turn into a barren desert. This is why China began a project to transform deserts into forests by promoting forestry, agriculture, and animal husbandry. This was executed by planting trees on 300,000 acres of sandy land. Farmers were encouraged to cultivate crops 
they could grow with minimal water in sandy soils. The final step was animal husbandry. Scientists researched animals that could thrive in the new ecosystem and selected the Rex rabbit. Rabbits were also eaten by the Chinese, so this is also generated income for the farmers involved in raising these rabbits. Rabbits help improve soil fertility by burrowing and eating grass roots, which naturally tilts to the soil and promotes the vegetation growth. A female Rex rabbit can produce 40 offspring a year, and these animals adapt well to different ecosystems. Consequently, China purchased 1.2 million Rex rabbits and released them into newly forested desert areas. This step proved beneficial. Initially, only 3% of the 100 square kilometer desert area had vegetation. Within a few years, vegetation increased to 84%, transforming the land into a fertile area with grass, trees, and crops. As seen in Australia, while rabbits can promote forestry, their unchecked population growth can devastate entire forests. It remains to be seen whether China can maintain a balance and avoid the issues faced by Australia. This is all about today's video. Please like, share, and comment your views. Thank you for watching.